Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, because we are getting ever closer to the release of the final season of Game of Thrones, which I technically don't watch, but a lot of you do, I think, we're going to be doing the Game of Thrones book tag. Number one, Arya Stark, a character that is all about revenge. For this one, I chose Aelin for Th from Throne of Glass because that chick wants revenge and lots of it, at least later on in the series. I don't want to spoil Kingdom of Ash, but Rowan gets some pretty major revenge on some characters in a scene. So we're going to go with that. Next, Varys, a book featuring political intrigue. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. As you guys know, I really love this book and I really love this series and I really love Holly Black. And there's a lot of political intrigue in this series. There's a lot of political manipulation as well, and a lot of good rulers, and a lot of terrible rulers. Joffrey, a villain that you love to hate. For this I have two, and it actually borrows from our last two questions. Number one would be Mauve, because I think she's a really interesting villain. Number two, and my main one, would be Cardan. He's sort of a villain, and sort of not a villain, and I love him, and I hate him. So, we're mostly gonna go with Cardan from The Cruel Prince for that one. Next! Jon Snow, a coming-of-age story. For this one, I've chosen Harry Potter, the ultimate coming-of-age story. I really don't know what I can say about Harry Potter that hasn't already been said, so instead of that, look at this cute little Harry Potter that I found at a thrift store because apparently nobody wanted him. He's my baby. Next, Jaime and Cersei, or a ship you just cannot get behind. Ordinarily, I'm really great at these. Oh, I know. I just remembered. I hate Arwen. So we're going to the Lord of the Rings land, so I can tell you that Arwen is a horrible person. Aragorn deserves better. Elrond deserves better. One of these days I'm going to post a video all about why Arwen sucks. So that is my ship that I love to hate. That for some reason everybody else loves. Also, Elrond's parents kind of suck, but that's, that's a story for another video. Next, we have Lady Oleana, or a kick-ass older character. And for that one, who else could we say but McGonagall? <laughs> I mean, there is literally no one out there. There's no one in this world that is more amazing than McGonagall. Unless it is another character who is also played by Dame Maggie Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Oleana. You have nothing on Professor McGonagall. Next, we've got Dany, or... A book featuring dragons. Guys, I love dragons, but right now I have Aragon behind me, and also I might be getting to see Christopher Paolini soon. I don't want to give any more spoilers, but I'm freaking out. So that's my dragon book. <laughs> Next, Sansa Stark, or a character that you hated at first and then you grew to love. I'm going to actually go back to Throne of Glass, and I'm gonna say Selena slash Aelin, because for the first book, all I wanted to do was throttle her, because she's so annoying and self-centered, and I don't care how pretty you think you are, I just want you to kill people! So once she stopped talking about how pretty she is and uh, actually started being awesome and killing people, I liked her a lot more. For Melisandre, we have a favorite magic system. I'm probably gonna say Harry Potter on this one, guys. It's just... It's an ultimate classic. And the Lord of the Rings magic system, I'm, I mean, there's not a whole lot of actual magic. There's just some people with weird powers. It's complicated. <laughs> Harry Potter is at least fairly easy to explain, so we're gonna go with Harry Potter. Next, Tyrion, a character whose weapon is their mind. Also Jude from The Cruel Prince, because she tricks everyone. So many times. And unlike Aelin, when Jude tricks people, it actually makes sense. Some of Aelin's tricks, I'm like, what? What? Girl? So that's my tricky character. And that is also the end of the tag, which is great news because not only is my camera about to die, my memory card has just informed me that I have four minutes worth of space left. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.